Đà Nẵng Power Companies host Power Outage Reel. Developing Namo Fishers Village. Free cancer screening and support in treatment for around 15,000 people. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. The Municipal Department of Industry and Trade, in collaboration with the Da Nang Power Company, held a drill to repair effective responses in case of widespread power outages across the city in preparation for the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. In the hypothetical situation, unexpected mass power outages occur at venues taking place the events in the framework of the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. The city's power sector coordinated with the relevant agencies to practice the plans to handle the incident and ensure the normal operation of power source as well as smooth power supply during the events of the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 in Da Nang. The trio aimed to evaluate the adaptability to power outage incidents, the capacity to supply on-site power sources as well as strengthen coordination between the relevant units to detect and address any arising shortcomings after the drill. The Da Nang Visitor Center is one of the beneficial practices of the Da Nang tourism industry. Launched in 2013 up to now, the Da Nang Visitor Center has a tour desk at 108 Macdang Street and two tourist information counters located at domestic and international terminals at the Da Nang International Airport. These information desks have been well operated in terms of greeting tourists, supplying information, receiving and processing tourist feedback, fulfilling the objective of welcoming and serving tourists during the peak season. In particular, the center also receives and coordinates with relevant units in handling cases of begging, pushing up the price, and theft. After four years of establishment and operation, besides providing consultancy for over 250,000 visitors, the center has coordinated with local authorities to resolve 124 cases, receiving a great deal of visitors' praise and appreciation. According to the Ministry of Planning and Investment, currently there are 72 projects showing signs of inefficient investment, which have been run by state-owned enterprises, with a total investment of more than 42,700 billion dollars. Of these 72 projects, 25 have lower revenue and profit compared to the approved feasibility study report. 20 have been put into operation but do not ensure the desired capacity, cannot cover the operating costs, while the actual production costs are higher than the cost calculated in the project plan and the actual loss period is longer than the planned period. Eight other inefficient projects were liquidated, transferred or changed owners. Specialist surveys in the second quarter of this year revealed that labor holding university degrees and higher degrees had the highest income with $7.49 million per month. The average monthly income from major occupation attained $5.2 million. Notably, labor at primary level could earn up to $6.04 million per month, higher than that of vocational school and college graduates. 20.7% of salary earners were in the group of low income, in which 83.2% were unskilled and 48.7% were manual workers. In general, the income of Vietnamese labor is still lower than that of other countries in the region and in the world. According to the Municipal Department of Information and Communications, from 2018, Da Nang will carry out the first divergence of the overall plan of the BTS network in the locality. The plan aims to create favorable conditions for telecommunications enterprises to make specific plans for building the base transceiver stations in the city, while ensuring the urban landscape in line with the city's master plan towards building the green, modern and sustainable urban space. As planned, by the end of this year, the City's People's Committee will officially approve master plan for BTS network in the city to 2020 with a vision towards 2030.
Currently in Hoa Hip Nam and Hoa Hip Bắc wards of Linh Chiu District, there are around 120 households making fish shops. 50 among them participate in the Namo traditional fish shop village. On average, each household uses two to three tons of fish to produce 1,000 to 1,500 liters of fish sauce each year. Over the past time, the city's Department of Industry and Trade and the Industrial Promotion Center have launched many programs to give support to residents in the brand and such equipment as pouring machines, bottling machines, bottle blowing machines, jars, as well as help them to purchase raw materials from other localities nationwide or participate in the fair's exhibitions. This has given them the motivation to continue their traditional craft. However, the villagers have also faced such difficulties as the premises for producing have been narrowed, their brand names have not been widely promoted, while supermarkets in Da Nang have not been interested in locally produced products. According to the City Department of Health so far, Da Nang has the highest proportion nationwide with the number of 16.08 doctors per 10,000 people. Meanwhile, the national average number is 8.2 doctors per 10,000 people. However, at present, the city still lacks doctors, especially specialist doctors. Currently, the Da Nang General Hospital and the specialized hospitals at municipal and district levels are in need around 26 diagnostic imaging specialists and 24 other professional titles. The Departments of Surgery, Obstetrics and Gynecology or Anesthesia of the Nang General Hospital and the District Medical Centers are also in need of about 39 doctors and 33 other professional titles. A free cancer screening program has been simultaneously launched at 18 medical facilities throughout eight cities and provinces across the country from September the 9th to October the 18th, targeting the early detection of several cancers for around 15,000 people. The program is co-organized by the Supportive Fund for the Cancer Patients, Bright Future, K Hospital, Thiet Tham Fund and Vinmec Hospital System and the relevant hospitals, aiming at raising public awareness on cancer prevention and early detection. It is expected that 15,000 people in eight provinces and the cities, including Quảng Nam and Đà Nẵng, will benefit from the program for screening of three most common cancers in Vietnam, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and colorectal cancer. Specifically, detected cancer cases will be supported by Thiện Tâm Phân at up to 70 to 100 percent of the treatment costs at the VinMec International General Hospital systems across the country. On September the 17th afternoon, a ceremony to express deep gratitude and eternal love to parents and spouses in 2017 took place at the Da Nang Labor Cultural House. The event attracted the participation of more than 700 people. These were the families with long-lasting cultural traditions throughout the city. The gratitude expressing ceremony featured the art performances, songs and dances, with the content raising the parents' merit, family love, leaving on the audience the deep emotions. This is a good opportunity for children, wives and husbands to express their filial piety and affection to their relatives. As usual, the gratitude expressing ceremony 2017 held at the end of the Bulan festival season is really a meaningful program, contributing to tightening the family relationship, honoring parents. That's all for today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.